This video, I wanted to show my latest project. It's a scorekeeper for a custom, a custom-made corn toss platform. It's uh, it has two a two-digit seven-segment display. Uh, the whole thing is controlled by an AT Tiny that drives two shift registers, one shift register per seven-segment LED. For input, it uses a rotary encoder. Uh, you just turn one way to increment the score. And from what I'm told, I've never played corn toss, but from what I'm told, the score, whoever reaches 21 wins. So I programmed it to, once it hits 21, it starts over. Uh, this was this project was a lot of first for me. I've never used the AT Tiny. I've never used uh, shift registers. This is my first rotary encoder project, and uh, it was also it was my first seven segment display project. Uh, the AT Tiny was fairly simple to convert to from Arduino. I used the Arduino programming environment. Uh, the code is was very easy. Uploading was a little bit of a challenge, but I'll put a link to the to the uh, tutorial on how to do that. Uh, for the rotary encoder and the shift registers, I highly recommend Kevin Dara's videos. He has a very informative uh, instructional video on shift registers. Uh, it was very effective. I had I had trouble grasping the concept until I watched his video. It was very good. He also has another video on rotary encoders, which is very clear, easy to follow, and easy to understand. Uh, seven segment displays, they're pretty cut and dry. Um, if you understand LEDs, uh, you can understand uh, the requirements for a seven segment display. You just, have to, you just have to remember how they're numbered. They're usually numbered one through seven, one starting here, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So I breadboarded the whole project up and I was ready to start soldering it and I realized that it was going to be the, it was going to be a a challenge to get over all the to get ever, all the leads soldered together. It was going to be a little too crowded, a little a little a little too much for me just to use a, a plain old perf board. So I had to try my hand at etching at PCB etching. So this was also my first PCB etching project. Here's the final, the completed version. I etched, I don't know if you can see that, that's a practice. I, I, I firmly believe in trying a project more than once. You know, be prepared to make mistakes, be prepared to do it wrong a few times. Um, that's the only way that I can learn to do it correctly, to do things correctly. So I, I etched. I don't have a good example for a, a good, the best etching tutorial video. Um, most videos that I watch suge suggested that you etch only one side and you protect the other side. Etch one one side of the board protect the other side and then go back and etch the second side. That seemed too, like too much of a hassle to me. It, the, the protectant that you used, that I used for this side was too difficult to remove. So I etched them both, I etched both sides at the same time. I just drilled a few holes for orientation and got the pattern laid out and everything, everything turned out just fine. It wasn't perfectly aligned but well enough. Uh, I I etched two boards, two displays on one board, because there's two players. I guess there's four players in Cornhole, so I have to make another setup. Power switch, it runs on a 9-volt battery pack, and the rotary encoders, two rotary encoders, one for each score. And that's it. I still have to solder together the other board for the other corn toss platform. But this was an educational experience. I really enjoyed it. It was exciting learning how to work with shift registers. Uh, the AT Tinies are much cheaper than the Arduino, 
and I really recommend learning them if you're if you if you have a small project that doesn't require too many pins too many input output pins they're they're great they're much cheaper and uh, most of my projects will work fine with an AT Tiny. So, uh, so that's it. Thanks for stopping by and thanks for checking out my new project.